me some glasses. Their stuff was covered by uh, the Washington Times or Washington and, Post or uh, something. Yeah, the, their Las Vegas so, comedy show. Yeah. I was going to get in there, but I can't remember what I had to do that night. Yeah, the virtual VR stuff was... Uh... All right. So for those of you seeing us, we will be live with <clears throat> Haley Reed in about 30 minutes. We're just letting everybody yeah, get into the get room. There, so... You know, once uh, I get this filled up where I can see your comments and all that stuff. There we go. So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Happy Hour Podcast pregame episode. Of course, I'm Ray. Matt is back live with me right here in the Happy Hour Podcast studio basement. Of course, it's not much of a studio basement. It's just my basement, which looks like it it literally looks like a storage unit. It it looks like Putin dropped a bomb (laughs) on this basement because, like, Normally, like, you know, anybody who knows me knows that I'm a reseller. So I always have an abundance of shit just laying around until I get it resold to have it put in my storage uh-huh. unit. And so has that become like a hobby now, Ray? Is, is it more because you want to make money or just because you just simply get enjoyment out um, of doing it? I think it's starting to become a little bit of both now. I, I, it's a little <laughs> bit of both before I used to enjoy it. But really, the eBay stuff throughout COVID kind of kept me above water. Oh, financially cool. so um you know i mean i have a storage unit now so that goes to show you know right. i i have like close to ten thousand items listed currently right now so you know that's the whole thing but it's always Any hard bodies on there that are... yeah yeah <laughs> it's always hard staying on top of it so the basement looks like an absolute fucking bomb went off and of course you guys can't see that right here on camera but you know pretty much what happened is i had my regular stuff down here and i still need the list and then i helped jess's aunt and uncle clear out their basement or clear out their grandmother's uh condo mm-hmm. so pretty much a lot of that stuff's in here and then there's stuff for her mom also that we need to drop off to her mom so it's just a little bit of shit everywhere and you know of course as i said you know i brought up of course for the first time i think in our lifetime like a major like conflict like what's happening right now in russia and the ukraine which is unprecedented you know and, and of course jess you know she feels for the ukrainian people jess does have you know Ukraine in her bloodline. So um, she has no current relatives that we know of over in the Ukraine, but she does have Ukraine in her bloodline or whatever and all that. But, you know, I I think a lot of that is just a lot of little man syndrome from Putin. Like, you know, I think the dude's just on the whole thing of, I'm a little bit afraid of letting this one country become NATO because once it's, you know, NATO right next door, but, you know, I don't think I really remember. I mean, we had Desert Storm which was back in like the 90s, which was a huge conflict. But we pretty much went in the desert storm, fucking tore house and rolled out. So, you know, I don't know how this is going to work out. Yeah. yeah. Well, I don't know if you're, you really want my opinion on the whole thing, because I can go down a rabbit <laughs> hole with that. But um, I will say that uh, I'm not on Putin's side, of course. I, yeah. I, I'm uh, for reasons I'm not going to really state. But yeah. Um, <laughs> I, I see what he, he he's saying about, you know, the encroachment of NATO because he sees that as uh, what's the word like imp- modern day imperialism. Yeah. Right? yeah, uh, yeah. Set, you're setting up shop in his backyard. He doesn't like it. Yeah. I he's, get a, he's a dictator. That's, that's just, what I know, don't it's... like. I don't like bullies. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. if you're simply going to just say, hey, you can't do this or I'm going to invade you. I yeah. mean, that's not cool. I'm not yeah. cool with that stuff. Well, I, I mean, here's the thing. Yeah. <laughs> and, and it's funny. It got it, he says some shit but apparently like everybody's telling trump oh well he's encouraging him here's the thing here's if trump was president he probably would have did something like oh man yeah that's a great idea blah blah blah, this and another and then just sat there and told him well you know what else is a good idea standing down before i fucking blow your ass to smithereens and you know of course biden already said you know that they're gonna do a lot of you know sanctions and all that but russia can really fuck us up with you know hacking into stuff and all that who knows yeah, it could very well we could be live and then the next thing you know you see putin see, just uh, doing yeah, the helicopter see. on the screen so <laughs> you know i i i say this you know if he does that if, if it were me i would take down amazon once you take down amazon you look at it like this everybody has echoes in their house like we have echoes you know you're ordering everything through amazon oh, like you're taking down the whole system like amazon goes people aren't going to know what to do there's going to be fires in the street if amazon gets taken out 150 <laughs> percent. and you know it's actually kind of funny you know talking about the hacker stuff and talking about talking taking stuff down because that leads into our urban dictionary term of the week uh-uh. which is the blue screen of death 
So some people may be familiar with the blue screen of death. I know I am and Matt, you know, if you're not, once I read it off, you may know. And it's something that happens when you run Windows Vista no longer <laughs> than 10 minutes. Usually when you're doing something very important or just beating your meat, which would be, you know, our case. I, I didn't know that was a thing. Yeah, Windows Vista was terrible. It just fucking oh, I goes know all it was blue terrible. screen. Yeah. It was definitely, uh, oh yeah, I remember back in... Uh, <laughs> college days i think that's when it came around and it was like oh it's the new yeah. thing but it was terrible oh it yeah dude, it sucked terrible. and it, it's funny because the description said it, last it, night i was beating my meat to female slash female slash donkey action and i got a blue screen of death so i picked up my computer and threw it out the fucking window and then smoked a cigarette after <laughs> it sounds about legit and Dude's watching a donkey show, but not only is it a donkey show, but it's a female, female donkey. So, you know, you got to wonder, cause you see a donkey and normally it's one chick and a donkey, but this is like, you know, almost kind of like, this is a threesome. So that donkey's a lucky fellow. Well, look, man, I'm not going to go in and judge people what they watch. Cause if you looked at my history, oh my oh, Lord. Dude. Like so, we, we talked about it. So I'm not going to go there. Yeah. We, we talked about it before. The whole <laughs> amateur donkey. Yeah, yeah. Don't, come on. That's amateur <laughs> stuff. <man. laughs> but, uh, dude, I just, I have no idea. And, uh, you know, <clears throat> just some of the shit that you can find on the <clears throat> dark interwebs and all that. It's like, you know, if Putin were to do something where he took out porn, Oh, God. There, there'd be well i don't know because we i i heard on the radio this week that apparently taiwan taiwan is in danger of having the lowest population in like history oh. because all the younger people they don't want to have are, kids or they don't want to have kids so they're all getting dogs and like pushing dogs around in strollers <laughs> and all that okay, shit that, that's so a little weird guys <laughs> you know that that's the thing and they said you know i think they said by 2040 or something like that like the current population will be a lot of them will be in their 60s so they're going to start you know kind of mm. dying off eventually and then you have all these young people who don't want to have kids so you know that's the kind of thing where's taiwan going to be so i mean that's the kind of thing that if china ever just sits there and goes well you're a part of us it's just kind of like they're just going to walk in and be like okay you 16 people over there <laughs> you're now a part of china <laughs> this is what's going to happen like, yeah Oh, man. Well, back to the uh, the real quick, back to the the Putin and the if you shall saw porn. Yeah, uh, there was a meme going around, I believe, on Facebook. Um, okay, about uh, <laughs> I'm going to do my part. I my part, and I stand with Ukraine. I'm going to boycott all Russian porn stars no. and not watch them. No, no, that's <laughs> messed up because there's there's probably some good Russian porn stars there out is. there. Like, there's, I mean, there's a bit. but. <laughs> <laughs> i know but you're like mm. the funny part is is putin when you hear putin like when i hear putin i think of two things a breed of a dog like i feel like a putin like i bought myself a putin today I took me a putin. yeah yeah i took my putin for a walk and putin also sounds like something that like like a weird strange fart like you know you just let down and your grandfather <laughs> just goes you smell that putin <laughs> yeah that's some putin we got there that's some good putin <laughs> <laughs> Mm. kind of like tootin but with but, putin but with putin <laughs> tootin with putin it oh, sounds that's... like it sounds like like one of those reading things at groups that you get together and it's just gonna be called tootin with putin you know what you, you know what you do you you get online and you look up russian putin xxx and see what pops up oh I, uh, and and mm, you know i'm doing that tonight that, that's the thing you go <laughs> you could very well find a putin sex video that could end all of this you know, him just having his way with like his secretary. Some of those deep fakes, and, man, I tell you, they, they, oh, yeah, oh, certainly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the Putin deep fake. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. And we're going to hell. If, you if know, we, just trying to make light out of a it, bad situation. <laughs> right. Well, 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 you know, got to keep a sense of humor. Can't be all this doom and gloom. But yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, what if that's what like starts the war? <laughs> oh yeah, we sink our hand, we start the war. Like, oh shit! <laughs> yeah, like, what, how what dare happened? you make fun of me? So what happens is shit. the happy hour podcast slander of Putin is what starts the war. <laughs> Somehow, some way, this little podcast that only a couple of thousand of people have seen starts the war with us and Putin because we're talking about him being a dog breed right. or sounding like a fart. Or doing a deep fake 
with hey, his face on something. I don't know. It'd be pretty awesome. Like, hey, hey, man. The good news <laughs> is uh, we're going viral. Yeah, yeah. Bad news is we just started the end of the world, basically. I, I mean, dude, also, that dude's like so, the size of an Oompa Loompa. Like, that's a small man. Jeez, but, now you're cutting on it. But, oh, I, I mean, don't know. He Honestly, he's probably about my height. But, you know, I'm, yeah, I'm a short dude, so. Yeah, you know what I don't get about war, though? And this goes, this applies for any country or any leader, is that the people who are thinking, hey, let's go to war, those motherfuckers never, their boots never touch the ground one fucking time. This, you know, Putin's not going to go out and fight. He's not going to fucking ride. You ever see that picture of him like riding on a horse with a shirt off or whatever? You're not going to see him riding into battle with his shirt right. off, fucking firing like a gun in the air or anything like that. No, he's going to be giving fucking, you know, demands Interesting and all enough, that. Like, though, he does know uh, some type of nijitsu. Oh. I've seen him uh, do like some sort of karate shit. He, well, he appa- apparently the... he was like, like, kind of like our equivalent of a Navy SEAL yeah. in Russia. Like that's what he was. And like, so I mean, if that's the case, why doesn't like Putin just kind of like go in there and like John Wick, like himself, like <laughs> Zero Dark Thirty? Just yeah, right yeah. In. Like I mean, that, that's <laughs> the thing. It's like why, why are you going to have all these lives of all of your own people get taken? You know, and of course, you know, Russia has a much bigger army than Ukraine does. But, you know, if you're that much of a badass, why well, don't you walk you, you in know, there and, that, and just John Wick, you know, the Ukraine? Because that, that's not going to happen right. because he's not as uh, much of a badass I, I as don't he know. proclaims to be. I really don't know what his intentions are because, honestly, if he wanted Ukraine, uh, he could take it. Oh, yeah. The Russian army is huge. They're, they've, they have one they had at latest uh, i know uh of course the numbers have gone down like one hundred ninety thousand, like troops amassed at the oh, border yeah. if he wanted that he could just say go and that's it yeah like the all the army goes in and that and that that's that well it, it's they're, they're, they're putting up a really yeah. good resistance ukraine is but that many they're you're surrounded and you're outnumbered you're out oh, yeah. gone there's and yeah that's they, it, they talked about it on 98 rock like look at it like this the reporters that cover that shit mm-hmm. dude that's crazy yeah. like they have one like vests that say like press on them and shit and like they'll be sitting there covering shit meanwhile there's fucking fighter planes flying over shooting and fucking dropping bombs and all that yeah. fuck you i'm out i ain't doing that i'm sorry <clears throat> like i may get paid millions of dollars you know per each minute i'm on air to do that nope fuck you sorry ain't doing it i'm out Bye. Yeah, I don't know if I shit. would. Uh... Like, you know, it's yeah. No, it, that's a big no. Thank you from me. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah, they're um, handing their civilians guns and just saying, and giving them a little yeah. bit of training and saying, you "See a Russian, take him out. <laughs> yeah. You see a Russian, kill him, kill him now." <laughs> but um, yeah, that's pretty crazy. I mean, we've had air scares with Russia a few oh, times yeah. with. Yeah. Uh, back in shit you know i don't know how old their um fans are but um red dawn i mean that whole thing was yeah. based on russian invasion yeah. in america that came out what the 80s i'm not talking about the reboot one let's yeah just get, oh, let's the not speak yeah. of that i'm talking about yeah. the original one that was the like the late 80s right i can't mm-hmm. get it quite yeah. right but yeah that was <laughs> um that was based on a russian invasion of the united states oh yeah and i mean dude i don't know what's going to happen but it's, it's going to be interesting it's going to be interesting next couple of weeks but of course you know our prayers go out to people over in the ukraine so oh, yeah um, definitely you know war and conflict is never a good thing nobody's ever going to get along and you know every country pretty much out there has nukes and eventually we're all probably going to blow ourselves away anyways but You know, that's something to talk about on a different day. Anyways, for those of you joining us right here on Facebook Live, of course, we will be joined by our featured guest tonight, adult film star Haley Reed. She will be joining us momentarily right here on Facebook Live. So make sure you stay tuned and uh, check out our episode, our weekly recording with our special guest, Haley Reed, of course, here you see it is right here. This is the beautiful graphic that was done up to us by Curtain Jerker Designs. Um, you know, the guys over there always do a great job. And of course, you can see our new logo created by Steve Freeman on that. So that's going to be later on tonight. Um, farther out, of course, um, we are going to be live this Tuesday. 
this Tuesday we are going to be live on Facebook Live. And um, on Facebook Live, we're going to be doing our fully fermented redux, which we've been enjoying doing the live versions of fully fermented. So our fully fermented redux is going to be from episode the guys over at view skate shop so we're going to be talking about skateboarding crashing and burning all that fun stuff of course we also talked to ryan boblitz who's a pro skater and all that that was of course vintage content from happy hour tv that is going to be february 28th live right here on facebook live and then we have one more for you and that is is that we are going to be live also on wednesday this Wednesday, we will be recording our regular fully fermented episode, which is going to be featuring highlights from season one, episode one of Happy Hour TV. So make sure you check that out, you know, and of course, next week, uh, we're going to be live on Friday with um, Stacy uh, Stacy Toy. Uh, um, yeah, so she's, she's the host of Fan Room Live, and I believe... Eileen Shapiro was telling me, I think she used to, she used to manage, she did something with Snoop Dogg. She was Snoop Dogg's publicist or she, she did something with him. So I'm going to be very interested in asking her how much weed she has seen Snoop Dogg <laughs> consume because that is absolutely I insane. I saw a, a little meme um, <laughs> that was going around uh, at the Super Bowl. Like he was smoking weed. Like, oh yeah. He was like down on the steps like... Yeah. Get like, ready to go it, on. Is yeah. that it? Does that surprise like, anybody? Like, it's, your, it's your party. Like, yeah. Oh, hold on. Hold yeah. On. Hold on. <laughs> dude, dude, does that really surprise anybody? I'm not surprised like, at all. I would be shocked if they said he wasn't smoking weed. Right. Like, that's that's well, the, the, the fact like, that they caught him, like, and he was like down, like, because there was like little steps. Because you, oh, yeah. You, you saw, yeah. Well, well that, that's the thing show. on that show. And I, I think we <laughs> talked about a little bit on it. He on was down in the corner, like a little hobo. And it was like, Snoop, Snoop, it's your time. He's just like, Da, 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 da. <laughs> it's a one and only D. <laughs> like yeah. that's the thing. It's like it's like he has the mic in one hand, weed he in the other, smoking. and then they're like, "Snoop, time to go." Okay, boom! Like microphone right up to his mouth. But he, here's the thing: is that, <laughs> and I said this before, is that that was probably one of the best Super Bowl performances that they've ever done. Well, like without question. And that, that, of course, now you're hitting the demographic that you're supposed to be hitting because you're hitting our generation yeah. with the music. Right. You know, that's what we came up with. And, you know, of course, Dr. Dre, Snoop Dogg, Eminem, Mary J. Blige, even, even you know, 50 cents, you know, yeah. that's the whole thing. Right. You know, all those, all those yep. artists together. Yeah, you know, I was going to say all those guys, but Mary J. Blige was in all those artists together. You know, it was just, and they, they were literally boom, 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 boom. Like yeah. it was rehearsed so well. Right. And, you know, they didn't give a shit. Yeah, they so told so whoever uh, did that and decided that, hey, this is what we're going to do, we're going to like pass yeah. off to them because that was a smart move. I mean, really reaching out to like the fan base, you know, like a young, the younger generation, not yeah, like yeah. young, young generation because God knows what the hell they're listening to. But <laughs> <clears throat> they're, they're not listening to anything, they're listening to, probably the tiktok soundtrack yeah that's probably what they are listening to is whatever soundtrack you can get mm. from tiktok because i'll tell you what like, man tiktok i just i i held out too long i've never told you <laughs> i did not want to download tiktok because i people tell me it was it's the devil so, oh, it's a, and it, it, so i finally downloaded it. it yeah it is the devil yeah like it literally oh, yeah. watch a video and it's just like it's it's algorithm is so mm -hmm. so much different than any other one it's just like it, it triggers just keeps, everything it just you want to watch you yeah. it's yeah. just feeding i'm just like no no <laughs> no <laughs> and and i said that before you know we talked about this before. like i like variety but yeah. that thing yeah. was just like like it was like hard like uh like demonic possession stuff yeah. like yeah. it was just like i'm like oh wow that's that's really freaky and it's just like and i'm like yeah and then all of a sudden it's just a bunch of devil possession i'm like no yeah, and then no, you, you, like, you like one other thing, like you, yeah. you like that, and then you like a video of a cat, 
just one video of a cat next thing you know it's, it's like kitten. demon 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 yeah. kitten kitten demon 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 kitten kitten demon dressed demon like cat. a demon that like demon <laughs> demon you're right. like what the hell is happening it's like, it's like they really this? stepped yeah. off the house why, why is there so much demon pussy on this <laughs> like what's what's going on there, there's yeah. nothing but demonic pussy going on right here like, what demonic is pussy. Yeah. <laughs> demon demon cat yeah, cat yeah, putin yeah. cat cat demon oh, oh you like you like black demonic pussy okay let's give you some black demonic pussy and it's all black cats just going <laughs> like fucking like satan and shit and you just yeah. like but, what is this um so yeah i can imagine what other people are, are watching on tiktok it's just, oh, yeah it's, it's well it's kind of crazy I, I mean dude i just i don't like i put some of our content on tiktok and you know i put a lot like a lot of clips that are kind of gems, like funny clips mm-hmm. on there. And it's just so hard. Like if, unless we're doing something really stupid, like no one gives a shit. And that, that's what scares me about this generation is oh, that yeah. stuff that is entertaining on TikTok. Cause Jess, Jess will watch videos. She'll lay in bed. She'll fucking sit there and watch like an yeah, hour's worth of videos. The pro- that's the problem. And then people she will. That's why people yeah. aren't getting enough sleep. Yeah. Sleep deprivation yeah. has gone up. She will get home from work. Just like, yeah she'll get home from work and go i have videos for you to watch so she'll (laughs) sit there she will show me 67 videos let's just say 67 i got a video for watch and you're just never another hour yeah maybe four of them were funny i'll sit there and be like okay that was cool and then you know some of them i'll look at and like i'll just kind of like give her that look like did you really just show me this like i'd rather graze the top of my mouth with a revolver then have to fucking watch this on an everyday yeah. basis. Like I don't like what 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 is this? Like, and uh, the people are, are are mean as shit, man. Like oh yeah, there was if you read any of the comments on some of these things, it's like I I even recommend don't even doing it because if oh, you yeah. find it funny, because you know what though I I uh, will I will say this one of me and my wife's favorite things in the world are TikTok comments because <laughs> people will fucking go in on you like hardcore I, I know. On, on tiktok and it's hilarious it is fucking hilarious right but like, there, there was this one that i watched <laughs> and it's probably going going around viral right yeah. now but this guy tried to jump over a car he tried to recreate well, I, think, sounds... I think kobe bryant or one of the, the big uh nba stars did that well kobe um, bryant i don't think he did that because he died via helicopter not trying to jump over a car <laughs> <laughs> this was like was back in this, what I Jesus just said. Christ, man! And the, it's not recent. I'm telling you, anyway, but the guy was trying to jump over the car, and he got totally did not make it. Totally did not. Make well, it. I would imagine. And you should have so. saw the like, comments bashing this guy. I was uh, like, this guy is laying on the ground and can't move. And people yeah. was like, dude, he's probably dead. And you yeah. guys are making fun of him. Like that's not. Well, I mean, here's the thing. Like, if we, if I were to but, show, you know, if I were to show a video like that on the show which last week you missed it last week i'm not sure if you saw the line i showed the video it was a guy he was shoving hot dogs into a water bottle and you know i said we sat there and we watched it of course with our guest wendy coke me tom and uh wendy and the guy shoving hot dogs into the water bottle and he turns it and he squeezes it and the hot dogs start firing out of the fucking water (laughs) bottle and and like that was one of those ones i looked at my way and like i'm like you know that guy had almost two million views on that video so it's just kind of like now, like, I'm sure that dude probably went on and said dumb stuff. No, at that point, my mind is, is this is your gimmick. Like, you're now the hot dog the hot shooter. Dog, man. You're now the hot dog shooter. Like, <laughs> this guy needs to get signed up to where he sits there and, like, let's say a doll film starts down on her knees, holding her ass open, and he shoots these fucking hot dogs, and they just shoot perfectly right into their asshole. Like, you know, <laughs> that's just, this, this that dude could have, that, this dude could have, like, a career with something like that and, and you know i even said that he could do like the kind of thing where he shoots hot dogs off but onto the grill mm-hmm. like just fires them off they go onto the grill and then start you know or shoot them out onto the roll mm-hmm. like you know it's just i i i, mm-hmm. I don't know it's just it, yeah it's, it's, <laughs> pretty much what it reminded me yeah. of is when when you watched it if you ever seen that a uh, gif of the girl with the hot dogs hitting her in the face like i feel like that's the pre the pre of that like he's right. like da, 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 and then all of them are just when she's like oh. you know not to jump back to the the conflict going on over in uh europe but that'd be pretty good you know watching him uh charge the front the enemy lines with a yeah. hot dog gun 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Could you imagine that? Like Russia comes and you have hot dog guy for Ukraine in the front, and he just starts firing. At that point, like if I'm, and they just stand down, like whoa, <laughs> yeah, yeah. and they, and they yeah, run away. Yeah, yeah. They just, they, they just, they just run. They surrender. They throw They're just their, like we want nothing they, to do they with. They throw this. down their guns. They're like no. <laughs> yeah. It's almost like the kind of thing when you know you go to fight somebody and then they strip completely naked. I've seen, and it's like nobody like wants to fight a naked guy, and it's like nobody wants to fight fucking or it's the kind of thing that he's in the front line and he goes to shoot these hot dogs and someone just shoots him right in a fucking head just, poof, just see you later <laughs> like, but I think as that's he, more the likely he, scenario as he goes but... down he's squeezing the bottle and the hot dogs are still just like, fucking it's just firing playing in, in slow air. motion yeah. like, <laughs> oh my god and then he hits the so... ground with a thud and <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God, Jesus! Christ. And he's just laying in a pool of ketchup. <laughs> and- <laughs> it's not blood; it's just ketchup. He's laying there; his head's on the ground. It's just ketchup. Hot dogs laying all over the ground, yeah, ketchup and all and that, mustard. just right next to him, like and ketchup, then- mustard, hot dogs. And then you know. fucking uh, relish is like, I never win anything. <laughs> damn it! <laughs> Someone just comes over with some hot dog rolls and starts cleaning the mess up, like just scraping it down with you know. <laughs> <laughs> poor guy hey you went viral though you know yeah um, i mean that, as i said with with tiktok it's insane what goes viral it it's really it, it is. is like it, like but also tiktok one thing with tiktok is if you want to out any company one of my favorite things on there and my wife oh fuck me. this is the wrong hold on oh um you know what i've always wondered you see when i look at the camera yeah, it's like yeah. the blue like I think it's because the that obviously nobody can else can see yeah. us but us. But when it hits my glasses, I have that like that blue light, yeah, lens thing, and it's like it reflexes, reflex or oh reflex. yeah 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 the, reflex. The... <laughs> Not reflex. So now reflex. you're blinding the viewers. That's pretty much what's what's going on right now. Yeah, that, that's been my <laughs> fault all this time. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for your luck. But no, um, what what the hell was uh, what were we just talking about before you brought up the the blue light stuff? And somebody came into the room for a second and yeah, left Dante. out. And, yes, Dante came in, wanted yes. to have a chat with us, and yes. uh, she left. Yeah. <laughs> so I have no idea what just happened, but no, like uh, TikTok. The so one thing I like that my wife shows me a lot of times on TikTok is that people like one of the things is like, what's something that you can reveal about a company that you no longer work at? And people will like not name drop Walmart or Target mm-hmm. or places like but that. But you know. But yeah, but you know. And they will just say these awful fucking things on there. And, and like, you're just kind of like, oh. Or if someone fucks you over, <laughs> like a company fucks you over, yeah. you can out them on TikTok. And then what people do is they go to Google reviews and leave this company like a million bad reviews mm. and then it's just kind of like oh well fuck so i mean there is a little bit of well, there, tiktok well but... there was a a thing uh, uh how um chick-fil-a everyone loves chick-fil-a oh yeah uh yeah, how can you not there I mean... was a tiktok video of showing how they make their uh nuggets i believe okay uh, i did not watch it because okay. i did not want to know <laughs> I'm like, don't ruin this for me. Yeah, yeah. Let do, me have something. Do not ruin this world. these glorious nuggets. With all yeah. the evil in the world, don't you dare take this from me. <laughs> well, I mean, that's almost like the kind of thing when someone was like, "Well, you know, Chick Fil A, their beef isn't really beef," and I'm like, "Well, I don't care. Like, I don't care if it's not really beef. It's fucking delicious. Do not." ruin this for me do not ruin this right. for my people if I for people like my me. arteries fat so people yes. <laughs> <laughs> and of i course... will grasp this fucking double quarter pounder on my deathbed oh and take one dude. bite before i go out dude <laughs> speaking of which I, and i don't know why i did it but uh, this week i was out i think it was wednesday or thursday i was working mm-hmm. and i was hungry i stopped at a rest stop in delaware and I went to use the bathroom and, uh, you know, and, and we try not to be political on the show, but everybody, I don't know if anybody sees those stickers of Biden saying I did that <laughs> on every gas, every gas I pump across him. America. Um, but it, it was called the Biden um, um, rest stop, rest center. <clears throat> so I went in there and I was like, well, you know what? I'm hungry. 
so I I was like, all right, well, they had a Burger King in there. So I go to I go to Burger King, I do the whole self-check kiosk, <laughs> and I sit there and I order it, I ordered like a decent sized burger and like some fries and like a large drink. And I'm sitting there looking at the screen and the amount for my value meal, mind you, it's called a value meal, 1609. And I'm sitting there and I'm like, <clears throat> I'm I'm my mind, I'm dying. Like I literally yes. want to put a, a mm-hmm. shotgun and however I hit buy and I enjoyed the burger. And then I sat there and I thought, I was like, I just literally ate somebody's hourly wage. I literally could have had someone do an hour's Hour, worth, worth of, of work making that burger. Yes, for me and for 1609. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was a good burger, but I was like, <clears throat> where the how the fuck? You, you know like, what it is? <laughs> it's, it's we got these cards, you know, yeah, cards, and we just yes, we don't care anymore. We're we just, just like, we just scan we just swipe, and, swipe, and we're we just like, and oh swipe, yeah, yeah, yeah. God, I mean, yeah. I gotta eat. No, right? no repercussions uh, for anything. I swear we to God, do. it's almost <laughs> like better if you go to like a regular restaurant. Oh yeah. Nowadays, yeah. but I think I spent a Chick Fil A meal for like a, a round for family. Oh yeah, it was like forty bucks. I got oh, yeah. like forty bucks. Yeah, dude. I, I mean, that's the thing. It's like you, you sit there, you go to Chick Fil A, a place and like it that, and it's forty dollars. But then yet there's there's a video of how they make the nuggets, and you're like, why are you ruining this for me? I'm willing to pay forty dollars yeah. right. for my family to eat here. <laughs> Don't ruin this for me. Yeah. Like what? Exactly. What is this? <laughs> yeah, but dude, like that. I mean, yeah, th- don't get me wrong. Fat, I, I'm I'm a fat ass, yeah. but I think that's one of my new all time lows is paying sixteen dollars and nine cents for a fucking burger, fries, and a drink at fucking Burger King <sighs> inside of a rest stop. And a lot of people said it was probably because it was inside of a rest stop, but uh, I mean, I don't know, man. I like can't that, imagine how much like, uh, beers are going to be at the ballpark. This oh year. yeah, oh dude, yeah, Camden Yards. Where, oh, where they? I they're like know. eight or ten dollars now. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, they're probably going to be like twenty four dollars a beer. We got to like, do a yeah. credit check just in case. It's like, <laughs> yeah, I just want a beer, man. <laughs> you, go, you go to buy a beer at a at fucking they need at, like, at a baseball game. <laughs> they need two forms of identification, and, and they pay, need and your, your social pay, security and number. Your last pay stub. <laughs> just yeah, yeah. Like, uh, what what is it? Uh, Eastern Motors down here, where they say your jobs, your credit. <laughs> yeah. Like that's pretty your much beer what is your credit. <laughs> yeah. It's like, I just want a beer. Oh, it's like, my God. Shunk. Let's yeah. see what you got here. <laughs> well, you know, like, you, you, you do know, you have a passport? <laughs> like, I, I, I wish we would have been a lot. Like, we have it easy. Like, when we go to buy stuff, we have it easy to where we can take our card, we can insert it, we can tap it, we can use our phone, you know, whatever. We can prepay. We we weren't around in the era where they would put a credit card down. Oh, yeah. Be like, oh, piece of paper. And they have a little cool thing. That'd be like, they, shoo, right shoo. They had to like yeah, yeah. And, and literally, they're, they're trying to like paper cut the card. Like they're just kind of like, shoo, shoo. And, like and it's like, yo, your card was declined. You want me to run it again? Yeah, yeah. sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. By the time it got done, like running through, you're out the door already. Yeah. <laughs> Taking all down street, <laughs> and uh, what we're going to do running it. <laughs> we're going to wrap up our uh, Facebook Live and YouTube exclusive pregame episode, and we're going to roll right into our weekly regular episode. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Happy Hour Podcast. Of course, I'm Ray. <clears throat> Matt's here with me. We were just live for a little bit on Facebook Live, and of course, YouTube, our exclusive pre-show content. And uh, Haley Reed, she's going to be joining us momentarily right here on the show. Um, but no, <clears throat> we were talking a little bit on the pre-show. Uh, right as we were coming into the main show about paying for stuff and me paying for a $16 value meal at a rest stop for Burger King. We were talking about how easy we have it with cards, like credit cards. Like, you know, we can, we can tap it. We can put our phone up to it, you know, whatever long gone are the days where they would have that little thing with the paper on it where it'd be like chuck, chuck, and yeah. it sounds like it's gonna like cut your card. And like, what happens if that thing like jam jams midway through, like, I feel right. like someone had, I, I, I whenever People I would, lost fingers. Oh, running that oh, thing. Dude, <laughs> when, whenever I would see that thing, when I was a kid, I used to always think of the things that they use at the deli to cut meat. Like, that's what I always saw. So I'm like, so is that what they're doing? They're like destroying somebody's credit card right now. They're just, you know, just, oh, we're going to saw this card down. Right, to like, little, little, little teeny tiny pieces. That, that's crazy. <laughs> I bet this way. No. <laughs> We're just like, what the hell? They yeah. come out. Are you paying with uh with cash or credit? And like they, yeah. they go, oh, I'm paying my credit. Yeah. 
bring out like a fucking typewriter oh, and yeah. slam it on the <laughs> desk. On the table. <laughs> Roll it up your sleeves and shit. Like, all right, let's well, get this baby going. Well, <laughs> what's funny too is that the check has pretty much disappeared. Oh, yeah. I remember, I've, dude, I yeah. can't remember the last time oh, I the check. Dude, like, and it's so hard to do now. Like before people could pay for their groceries with checks. Like I, my first, one of my first jobs was working for Family Dollar. And we used to get all these old women that would pay with checks, which is no longer family yeah. dollar yeah. anymore. I mean, yeah, yeah. Well, it's twenty-five a, yeah, now. Yes. But anyway, what, whatever. Well, no, that, that's dollar. <laughs> that's Dollar Tree. Oh, sorry. Dollar Tree now is, but they are also owned by Ooh. Family Dollar now, or vice versa, something like that. But, anyways, they, it would always be the kind of thing I would have a line with like fourteen or fifteen people in the fucking line, and eighty-year-old Ethel would just come into the line, <laughs> and she'd be like, "Do you take a check?" And it'd just be like, oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah. I remember that. Too. And then she says, yeah. she's like, how much is the amount? 9246. 946? 9246. <laughs> 940 92 give me the Damn pen. It, I will give Turn me the pen. The I will write it on here for you. And you hear everybody in line just getting mad. I should have just brought out the thing, just slammed it on the table. Here, give me, give me the I put the check right, in that. And then you got, <laughs> right. You gotta run it in, it yeah. runs it out, run it. You're standing there for like three minutes, like I mean, oh man. I mean, Nobody. dude, look look at it like this. We live in an era and a generation now where we don't even need to step foot into a bank. No. Like, I hate going into a bank, but I don't have to do that because you can take pictures of your checks and yeah, have them deposit right. into your account. Or you can deposit checks or cash into an ATM, which is the best thing in the world because I love that feature because I hate standing in banks because you always get that one guy that walks in there with like fucking $400 in pennies mm -hmm. that's not rolled. And he's like, I want to deposit this. <laughs> and then he just holds up the whole fucking line. And it's like, man come on like i'm in here with like ten dollars that i want to put in my account so i can live like, yeah. <laughs> i right. don't want to deal with you and your four hundred dollars in pennies <laughs> so well right. the cool things now is uh like venmo cash app things oh like yeah that. yeah you paypal just, like, all, all that right you, you have zell like, you know you can just move money around right, so yeah. much like facebook marketplace everything like that you can just literally you know go hey how do you want to pay for this? They can give you cash, which I prefer not to do cash because um. I sold a cell phone one day and I got paid in $500 of counterfeit bills. And yeah, oh, so wow. I, I try to gear away of not doing cash because it's so easy today for people to counterfeit cash. Right. Speaking of that, that it's funny. I, I went to a local grocery store and I was paying... I, I normally pay with a card, but I just had cash that day. So I was yeah. like, I'll just pay with cash. Yeah. So I gave the guy cash. <laughs> And he looked at me like I was like insane. Like it was like a like one of the old twenty dollar bills. Yeah, yeah. He like he took the marker out, marked it, held it up to the light, smells it, he smelled it. Uh, he, but, but he see, put it between his hands and rolled it back well, and forth he, like this. You know why he really did? And that, I'm right? like, dude, it's 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 real. You've never seen a, a, a twenty he, before. <laughs> he wasn't testing it to see if it was real. He was trying to get the residual cocaine oh, off of the bill. Shit. That's what that's like. Yeah. That's the, like, have you ever heard that? Like, I think what it is, they said one dollar bills have more residual at like almost any one dollar bill currently in circulation, mm -hmm. like old dollar bills, have like a residual of cocaine on them. Could you imagine so, some I'm some wonder. person sat there and they opened up a dollar bill and they're just putting it up to their nose and just going, uh, 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 what are like, you get that you know? out there? You just uh so. squeeze all the cocaine. That that's when you know times are tough. Yeah. yeah. You're like <laughs> trying to get the remnants of, of every drop of that coke. Yeah. <laughs> just every single times are tough, bit. man. I gotta do it. I gotta do it. <laughs> so and uh of course, Haley, uh, she said, I'm, I, oh, here she we go. Chat right here. Technical okay, it looks like she's having, I guess she's just waiting uh, to come in. She's setting uh, up. It's our so, fault. We got yeah, carried yeah, away. Yeah, it, 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 <laughs> we're sitting there talking about, uh, um, you know, the credit card <laughs> stuff and, and all that. So, and her guess is like, let, let me in. <laughs> she, like, hell guys. She, she's just like, what the fuck are these guys talking about? Like, these guys sound like they're insane. And it's like, well, yeah, I mean, we, we kind of uh, are. Yeah. Hi. Uh, <laughs> how are you? Yeah, we weren't sure if you were having uh, technical difficulties or what. Of course, uh, Haley Reed, our featured mm. guest tonight. And uh, I think I think originally Dante Cole accidentally came in. <laughs> no, it was his, I was on his Zoom account and I was like, oh, no. 
<laughs> and like it was ordinary and i was like oh no this is the wrong thing we just and we were like dante just popped in and said hey hello for a second that's what it was also his camera is really weird so i don't it like zooms in and out so i don't really know how to stop that i think that's a setting but it's yeah, like yeah. I, I don't i couldn't tell but you yeah, you know what it, it, it's it. cool it's kind of trippy because with you doing that you're on the happy hour podcast so oh, yeah oh there, there you go i turned it off i turned it off this might uh, be better oh, she, she has that cool ass my wife was talking about getting some of that it's basically mm-hmm. like you, you make it look like a cloud like kind of oh. like in the background well i was like going to warn her that a portal like, opened yeah. up behind her <laughs> yes. and she might get sucked through right in from mortal Kombat, maybe coming through your ceiling <laughs> right now <laughs> <laughs> no uh how, how are you doing of course uh you know you're in the adult film industry we have a lot of adult film stars in here and, and you know we, we were looking through some of the notes that erica gave us you know normally we shoot a lot of stuff from the hip but you know th- matt i know beforehand you, there's a question you want to ask you know well, on her starting and you know uh, g- go ahead well and first of all right. i am a fan I, i've seen a couple of your videos um <laughs> but i just wanted to Thank know you. um <laughs> It says here, and I, I didn't, didn't know this, because she, she shoots us with all sorts of, like, cool things about, you know, who we're having on the show. Um, it said that you got started by, from seeing an ad on a talent, talent agency on Craigslist. Yeah, everyone's always so interested in that. It's, I, <laughs> Sorry, I know you probably asked it all the time, but that is literally the most interesting thing I've ever yeah. heard. Because you can literally well, buy a blanket from a homeless man on Craigslist. Or start porn. Or start, yeah. Now, now, I, now I've, I've heard everything. Like, I, I mean, here, here's the thing. One, one of the favorite things of doing is going on to Craigslist and just looking up ads. Like, you know, misconnections or something like that. Like, when... When you were on there, like, were you looking right. for a talent agency? Did you do this on purpose? Like, or, or, <laughs> were you like kind of like you were trying to like find the guy that you saw that was cute on like the subway train, and you were just kind of like, okay, let me go. Oh wait, this looks interesting. I can probably do this. <laughs> uh, no, well, I was looking for jo- like just like a side job, like hoping to find something that like maybe being like a hot female could get me yeah. hired for, like oh, passing out flyers at an event or something um i'm sure i was searching other stuff i don't know but then i just <laughs> i came across this ad for a porn agency and i was like oh there's like agencies for this stuff yeah I just had never thought that was a thing so that, that's how it started not as exciting as maybe you were hoping like <laughs> <laughs> Like he's coming up. Well, I guess I'm a porn star now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, yeah. This, this just how it's gonna work. <laughs> That's kind of how it went. Literally, it was like, oh, I'm a porn star now. Wow, like that happened. <laughs> like, do, do you ever sit there and think back to my think back to yourself, man? Maybe like if I just didn't get on Craigslist that day, like what what what, what would I be doing? <laughs> like right now, like I sit there and I think about that all the time. I'm like, if I wouldn't have wrestled for 20 years, like. Would I be sitting here doing this podcast? Like what? Like what? What exactly would I? What would my life have become if I I'd didn't? Probably be like horribly bored and have yeah, some yeah. boring job. And-, <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, really. And here's the thing, too. Like, have you ever? You know, and of course, you've been in the uh, adult film industry for a little bit. Yeah. You know, have you ever <laughs> sat there and thought about life outside of porn? Because it, you know, it. Yeah. Well, I have, and I feel like there's this whole thing about like, what are you going to do after porn? What are you going to do after porn? But I've seen people who've been in this industry for like 30 years and are oh, yeah. still making hundreds of thousand dollars a month. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. I'm like, if you want something after porn, you can, but you can also stay in it. I think no matter what job you have, it's good to just kind of have an idea of like, oh, if this fails for me, oh, yeah. that I should have like an idea or at least like something set up technically i'm a yoga teacher so if something happens i could just go to the <laughs> humble life of teaching yoga but <laughs> and, well we've had uh sarah j on before on our show she's uh-huh. been in this she, for she's, yeah oh my god i was probably a nine-year-old boy watching her porn <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah well we, we we started early i'm a fan yeah, we got our, we got our porn virginity broken a lot. I think you know, most, very young. Yes. Yeah, so well, so did I, didn't we all? Like that's kind of how it works with cell phones these days. Oh yeah, yeah. Our generation just came from probably one of the best generations through the 80s, 90s, and 2000s as it is. And then it's like, you know, that's also like 
you know, especially today, porn has evolved so much, like, you know, and as you said, like the longevity of it, it's like, so, you know, now you're doing everything you're doing now. And then, it, you know, it turns into MILF and then you have GILF and then you have, you know, you have this, you have that. And it's like, oh, you look at it. I was like, like wait, what's after GILF? What's after Gilf is probably He's coming in with a the walker. Yeah, I'm yeah. ready to go, Sonny. <laughs> <laughs> old folks home. <laughs> if we're live from the old folks home. <laughs> oh my god. You'll t- stay take that load, man. Yeah. Damn. There's something for everyone, you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She she just pops out her teeth and goes, Let's get it oh, on. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> but no, like Nina Hartley, for example, she's still doing stuff oh she is oh Oh, yeah like she she did a couple of things like i don't think she did anything recent recent but within the last couple of years and you know i remember seeing that i'm like holy shit like i remember like nina hartley was in the industry for a long time 20 years ago like Mm -hmm. so you know her (laughs) still doing stuff now she was a veteran before you know that's that's crazy and uh, of course with you being in the industry like is is there anybody Mm -hmm. in particular that when you first got in, somebody that you wanted to work with, you know, male or female, that you were able to work with, and you're like, oh man, this is cool. Actually, no, I was obsessed with Bonnie Rotten, but by the time I got in, she'd already gotten yeah. out. So, was yeah. Like, no. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, so no, not really. I wish. <laughs> and uh, what what do you think? And of course, you've you've had over. 350 scenes like you've done a lot wow. not a lot of sex. You know, yeah so i didn't know that yeah and, yeah <laughs> and you know the the whole thing is is do do any scenes stand out to you like in a in the back of your mind on you know your favorite or you think are your best that you know you feel are i really um i really need to like write these scenes down because i definitely have them i just forget about them like obviously <laughs> yeah. like my gang bang I did one with um, Natalie Mars. That was really awesome. Um, there's so many that I like when I see the pictures of them. I'm like, wow. Like, I, I like that was an amazing scene. Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a list. I'm going to make a fucking list for this stuff. <laughs> and I, I mean, I go through the same stuff because people ask me all the time. They're like, hey, what was the favorite match, you know, you've ever done? And I'm like, I've had like you know hundreds of matches you know in the independent scene for pro wrestling like i i have a pretty much like border level cte ridden brain like i'm not gonna remember any of that yeah. shit. like you know and, and here, here's something we were actually i was reading an article last week and of course you know i'm pretty sure you're a fan of perfume and it was around valentine's day and i saw something that apparently they released idaho potato um perfume so I, I don't know if you've ever heard of this but it's called frights by idaho and uh-huh. yeah pretty much it said you know looking for a last minute valentine's day gift a french fry lover in your life may go head over peels for this it said a new perfume from the idaho potato commission yes uh-huh. you read that right purports to give off the aroma of french fries and all their the greasy cream. salty splendor could so, you imagine just walking around smelling like a french fry all the time yeah, like, that's I'm, some serious sex appeal like <laughs> that and uh, what, what i, I thought that mickey d's yeah, on the day yeah, baby. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like oh you, you want me to smell like oh let, let's role play tonight tonight i am going to smell like your mcdonald's <laughs> today i'm gonna yeah, be yeah. your french fry i'm gonna <laughs> yeah, be your meal yeah. for tonight <laughs> <laughs> and, and apparently it was going for a dollar 89 per 1.7 ounce bottle so that's the same price as like some fries without yes you know, yeah and, it's like, <laughs> and then and then it said that for it, the idaho commission has a dirt additional merchandise available for those addicted to spuds including <laughs> a french fry holder idaho potato p- playing cards a miniature potato hauling truck and a three foot tall spuddy buddy. So I saw spuddy buddy. And I was like, I definitely need to fucking find out what a spuddy. <laughs> buddy. So I thought so I'm going to pull it up right now. Let me, let me Dante. and this is what a spuddy buddy is. And like, I saw it and I was like, I need to have one of these just sitting on my porch of my house on Halloween night. Just a spuddy buddy in all of its splendor. Now, just imagine this. Somebody, you know, it's Valentine's Day. You know, your man comes home. He has the Idaho potato French fry perfume for you. And he has a spuddy buddy. Like, 
at that point, <clears throat> is he is he get is he getting laid that night? Because I I'd I'm be not... like, where are my French fries? <laughs> Can you give me some actual French fries. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want? Would you like fries with that? Like, <laughs> yeah. honestly, yeah, I, I would say you would be getting laid. Yeah. For sure, well, I, I'd fuck the spuddy buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we we never brought in anything about the the spuddy buddy being fucked. Hey, like, hey you're man. like I would fuck the spuddy. Buddy. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! oh. <laughs> you're gonna peel down the spuddy buddy and have your way with the spuddy. Smells buddy. like French fries. Mm. <laughs> that, imagine that. Uh, like imagine the guy though that sat there, and they're like, okay, what can we do for new products? Like we have spuddy buddy, we have this French fry holder. Somebody just raises their hand. And they're like, yeah, Bob, what's up? And he's like, let's do perfume. And it's just kind of like. Uh, no, nobody's gonna buy. And I guarantee you that for some reason it probably sold a lot. It's almost like what we were. Talking oh, about. I'm yeah. sure it did. It's like a gag gift. Like I saw this gift the other day, and it was a box of like um just just like lotions and different like spa stuff for your balls. Like they had nut butter, nut and they butter. had like nice. ball spray, and it was all like funny, and there were jokes all over it. Nice, nice. I feel like that stuff sells. Can I drink this, by the way? My, I was, I was brought a beer, so. Oh, yeah, I mean, good. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, you're, drinking. you're, you're on the, the happy yeah. hour podcast. That's so. what I figured. So I was like, oh, I'm gonna get a beer, like some yeah. kind of like weird beer. <laughs> you can drink whatever you want because later we are going to be playing a game called Incoherent, so, uh-huh. and that game is pretty much a term in drunken lingo. So that uh-huh. might help you later trying to figure out what the card that we will be showing you says oh that will okay drunken lingo we'll be like on the same level yeah and uh, <laughs> of course with the adult film industry one question we like to ask all the the guests we have on is what what was your probably worst porn related injury have you had any porn related injuries that you can recall not really i've been lucky i mean i've like one time i like slipped and fell in my own squirt I was like, I mean, like a a caution sign here, like caution floor is wet. (laughs) This is a good one. Another time I was like doing this scene and I was like leaning up against a chest and I pushed too hard on the chest and it closed on my hair right as I was about to come. Oh, it's just like very dark. Yeah, kind of like send me over the moon on that. Well, one. I mean, at least at least it closed on your hair, not on your head. Yeah, I guess that's... we would not have been good. <laughs> they, they would be like, "All right, so this is just regular, but now this movie has to go into the horror genre or horror genre because yeah. now she yeah. just decapitated You're herself." A hand shot with your arm in a cast. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, we're like you know let's say you know you slip you know on your own and it's almost like when you see home alone too when he falls in the paint and he's just like Aah! and it's just oh that my god okay <laughs> <of you>. <laughs> and oh this okay. is a shot it's so- giving all kinds of good stuff what is what what, what do you what what's that what do you got there? oh oh look <laughs> Tequila. Oh, she she looks like she looks like she thoroughly enjoyed. Wait, wait. So wait. I've heard of that. That's yeah. really cool. Uh, uh so you, you wanna see it? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Can you, can you... No, you gotta lift it up. I'm gonna open it. Just like, <laughs> like that. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's really cool. Yes. I've heard about that. I would annoy the shit out of my wife with that. It would be ridiculous. Just you take a shot, ding. Take a shot, ding! <laughs> Will you like shot, honey? Shut the fuck up! <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I feel like that that, te- that tequila. Pretty much what it does is when you drink enough of it, you kind of like you kind of start hearing. Like I drank so much tequila in Mexico one year that I pretty much heard bells in my mind. Like, of course, I was no. also jumping on a trampoline with iguanas, which I, you know, the, I'm Those just four iguanas dancing fucking in really, the air, really iguanas, like yeah, yeah. and. I'm just hearing bells over and over. So I feel like the bell just kind of counteracts like, okay, you know, we, let's see, man, I don't think I ever told you this. We're, we went to, we took a trip to Mexico. It was all inclusive. We're at the pool and me and one of my friends were down at the pool and we're like, Hey, what's that? Like, we're looking at this bottle. It's this big bottle. It looks like it had like, you ever see like an actual bar of cinnamon, like a, a yeah. Where they grind it down. Mm-hmm. It looked like it had that in there. And we're like, oh man, like it looks like it has cinnamon in that. We're like, hey, give us some of that cinnamon drink right there. And the bartender mm-hmm. was like, Are you sure? Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, get, give us uh, we what give us that now. So yeah, that's it, that's the yeah, words you don't yeah, want to hear yeah. from a bartender. So, so <laughs> are you sure? <laughs> he, he gives it to us 
And apparently there was not cinnamon in that bottle. <laughs> it was tequila with one of the hottest peppers you could possibly oh, find. No. We too drunk to notice that was a pepper. <laughs> so we took a drink. And then the next thing you know, I consumed so much Mexican pool water that I was convinced I was going to die trying to rinse that down. But then the rest of the family came down to the pool and were like, oh, what's up? You know, they had all their friends with them. And we looked at the bartender. We're like, this shot for everybody. And so they come down and we're like, oh, man, like, what, what is this? We're like, oh, it's good. Just go ahead. You'll enjoy it. You'll enjoy it. My wife and the rest of her family, you could just see them just boom, just go under the water and just shoot fire out of their fucking mouths <laughs> after awesome. taking those shots it was kind of like if i need to be in this pain you're gonna also be oh in this God. pain <laughs> i would never i could never <laughs> <laughs> well, what, now have you ever have you ever been on like any kind of trips where like you you had like where you're kind of in the element because i i love doing you know like we do a lot of odd trips like me and my wife have been to salem massachusetts we've been to Asheville, north carolina but, you know, when we want to get away, get away, we love doing like all inclusive trips. And, mm -hmm. you know, trust me, I'm a big guy. So I'm like, you know, I'm going to, what I pay, I'm going to definitely eat and drink that, my weight in that, you know, the whole time there. So have you ever been like to anywhere like Mexico or anything like that, where you've been in the element uh, where it's just no holds barred, you can just fucking drink whatever you want. And then it's just like, oh, no. Um, well, I, I've traveled a lot, but I've never gone to an all exclusive re resort. Usually when I travel, it's, it's a lot different than how yeah. most people travel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You travel, you have your hair tied up, you have your hat down in front of your face like that. And it's just like, please no. nobody talk to me. <laughs> no, I like, uh, like one time I went to Ecuador with, uh, with my family and we went into the ghetto and then oh. we went into the deeper ghetto and then we were like playing bingo with locals and then we went home with this family and they were like, uh, is that how the gangbang started no i'm kidding <laughs> and like, oh, and like, i mean like oh it's really crazy it was really crazy uh, <laughs> most it, people like most people be like oh like, i'd like to sit by the beach and like have my fucking uh pina colada and i'm like no like yeah well i went to the Bahamas. it was kind of like that Oh yeah. Like, uh, well, I remember Mexico is the kind of thing where we went, we took a trip to Cosmo. We did a day trip to Cosmo and, you know, Cosmo is known for the great, you know, barrier reefs that they have out there and, you know, all that beautiful reefs. And, you know, it's the whole thing of Cosmo itself though, is a shithole. And I remember <laughs> we went there and we got off the boat, you know, it was like a one an hour and a half, two hour boat ride from where we were to Cosmo. And as soon as we got off the boat, our one buddy was like, well, I'm hungry. And some guy was like, oh, come with me. Come with me. I get you the best nachos you ever have in your life. So he's taking us through like the worst fucking parts of Cosmo. And, and he's just following them. He's like, I'm getting these fucking nachos. Like, fuck that. And we're just sitting there. My wife's looking at me. And I'm looking at her. Her brother's looking at us. And we're like, oh, we're going to die. Like, yeah, you know, people were trying. All for some nachos. Yeah, yeah. And like, but the nachos weren't even that fucking good. Like, I'm oh, like. Oh, no. I thought yeah, that was like, like, actually really good. I don't know. No, no. They were fucking, they were terrible. And there was a fucking Margaritaville in Cosmo. And I'm like, oh. Oh, fucking went there like i you know, i could have got like a nice fucking sunday but now i'm sitting here eating these garbage nachos that probably have like roaches like baked inside of them like you know but yeah it, it got very scary there for a second that you know <laughs> but and then of course you know i don't know if anybody has heard but there there's a local baseball team called the portland pickles and they need everybody's help finding their stolen mascot, Dylan T. Pickle. So it says, we don't relish telling you this, but it's kind of a big deal. The Portland Pickles baseball team says their beloved mascot, Dylan T. Pickle, has been stolen and are seeking the public's help in bringing the mascot home safe. And I said, it started in Dominican Republic. Uh, that's likely like, where Dylan <laughs> it was making an appearance at a Caribbean baseball series. He was due to return to the Oregon versus New York City on January 31st. A week later, the team treated some jarring news, an alert message from Delta showing that the bag traveling had been lost somewhere at John F. Kennedy International Airport. So Dylan T. Pickle has 
been missing. So you think he was kidnapped? Yeah. I don't know. Like you I kidnapped mean, some mascot. Yeah, yeah. Like, I what mean, imagine that bastard. <laughs> imagine you you steal luggage. Like you find luggage. You know, and it happens a lot in the wrestling world. Like some of the guys have lost like championship belts. You know, people lose luggage. Oh, no. but, you know, imagine that, that like you end up with somebody's luggage. You're like, oh, there's going to be some good shit in here. And, and you zipper it open and there's a fucking pickle costume. In I'd be really excited if yeah. I was a thief. I'm <laughs> yeah. really excited. <laughs> yeah. I had my I had my suitcase stolen out of my car a few weeks ago. And the amount of oh, butt plugs I had in that suitcase oh, were comical. Oh, I was like, we were going to use these oh, butt plugs. <laughs> I really hope that they use them. Like, yeah. You're just like, I mean, uh, they took them, <laughs> but please at least just use them. Like, I hope they're really nice butt plugs. <laughs> oh, maybe, maybe what they did is maybe the, the same person who took that <laughs> also took Dylan T. Pickle. So, so it, now it they're running around. Up. Yeah, they're dressed them. up like a pickle. Wearing, <laughs> wearing french fry flavored cologne, you know cologne perfume. with a bunch of butt plugs like this, <laughs> this, this has a law and order episode <laughs> written all over it dylan t pickle rapes woman smelling like you know french fries with butt plugs like you know that, that's totally a law and order sbu episode that's a bit that somebody's about to watch like <laughs> Sounds like a very bad porn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if I'm a really it. good one. Yes, yes. <laughs> Haley's now just kind of like, I, I need to find a Dylan T. Pickle costume <laughs> now because I have an idea. <laughs> it, it sounds weird, but it will work. <laughs> so what we're going to do real quick is we are going to move in to our segment that we do called burn photo so matt unfortunately you did not bring me a photo so i found one for you online oh, no. Tell so me, i don't really take bad photos yeah. of myself that's the <laughs> so thing. so what we're going to do is we're going to start off with mine like we do each and every week so <laughs> and of course you saw that for a split second so we're going to start off with mine and i'm going to go ahead and pull it up one here and, and this is going to be my photo for burn photo and Haley, feel free to you know give your of course this right here like my face right here just says it all and this was during a fourth of july parade that we did for wrestling and we're just going through promoting to the fans and all that and then the next thing you know ryan mcbride the gentleman right here i just turn around and he's like, whop, just wallops me with a chop and of course someone takes the photo right there and i remember someone had photoshopped something like me getting hit with like a subway sandwich or something like that <laughs> oh my oh, god i couldn't find it oh man and i wish be, i could yeah, have be because that that would have been great and then you know of course matt yours for this week is oh, going to yeah. be let me uh let me where pull did, it where did right you here. find that photo that photo i dude i like deeply searched on <laughs> your facebook for this and you know of course you find a lot of gems on facebook when you search hard enough but i mean it's not going to be as good as dylan t pickle but of course that's it that's that's yours right there you know you're wearing the mask you're all like you're all crunked up and you're just pointing forward like he's got some mardi gras beads on yeah yeah, yeah. i was uh where'd we go i think flannel (laughs) uh we went to power plant live i think that night okay uh, okay god that was so long ago. That was like my early. Your beard's 20s. a little longer now. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Well, that's oh, my it, early twenties. Yeah. I mean, it, I, it got longer. It got longer than that. Like, oh, I've had, yeah, yeah, I've oh, had yeah, my beard all yeah, long. pretty long. Did you ever braid it? Yes, I have. Yeah. <laughs> I remember when you cut it not that long ago. I was uh-huh. so heartbroken. I was just like, <laughs> yeah. your beautiful like, beard. Who you the cut fuck it. Are you? Like, <laughs> who is this man? Why are you here? Why are you on my podcast? Get out of here. Like, but yeah. And also, Mike, our old co host, Mike, has returned from the dead and he texted me. Mm-hmm. And uh, he texted me a random photo, which I told him about the burn photo segment. So he sent me a photo of himself, which we're going to share. And I feel like this is more of a gem than what some of ours were so i'm going to go ahead and share this and i'm just going to completely tear this apart because mike he was former co-host and he hasn't showed up in a while but this is his high school photo so of course mike isn't here so haley kind of doesn't know what mike looks like now of course mike has short hair he has a long beard kind of like matt's and this is mike in the middle mike has no hair now. yeah well mike yeah mike has no hair but i feel like that this looks cute it looks very cute here yeah, yeah, but he looks like I feel like this is when 
your dad really wanted a girl. Like, you know, <laughs> it, it's the whole nah, thing. Of, dude, that was he up. always wanted a daughter. And, like, he looks like a young Bret Hart. If you know who Bret Hart yeah, is, I like that. WWF. I wish I had a nice hair like, like that, like, going in the back like that. Back you have some great hair. Yeah. yeah, back in the day, that's, uh, oh, oh, uh my, that was a man, chick magnet hair, no, man. My uh-huh. mom was not chick magnet magnet hair let me tell you like no. oh no your yeah hair you were the there top. for that the first burn photo segment we did i had my hair was the color of yours it was a little bit shorter but my hair was naturally curly so we get ringlets <laughs> in it and i had showed a photo from when i was in high school i was 16 you years old it. You just show so it I, I i i'm not sure if i can find it right off the top of my head but I had the blonde hair and I had my shirt open up. You could see like man boobs and I was holding a Britney Spears album. I was just so happy. because I had That seems like a great burn photo. Yeah. Oh, it was, it <laughs> was, was lovely. Amazing. Yeah, it was amazing. It was brilliant. I <laughs> loved it. And uh, what we're going to do real quick is we're going to get into our featured beer, which of course our featured beer debuted last week, which is by Yingling. It's Yang- Yingling's Hershey's Porter. So anybody out there, make sure you go out, pick up some Yingling's Hershey Porter. And of course, our featured shot, of course, is not a shot at all. My wife gave me this and said, you need to drink this on the podcast because she didn't want it. So I'm going to give you this. It is it is actually a wine that is called Chris Kindle Glue Wine. And somebody gave her this at work and it looked terrible. And she's like, here, drink this on the podcast. I'm like, "Okay, well, you know, let's. Let's go ahead and drink this on the podcast. So I'm going to go ahead and pour some of this in here. And Matt, you, this is your first time drinking, this, drinking yeah. that. So it's a nice, like, you know, red color. Oh, it smells right awful. So, oh, yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, this, this is kind of like, you know. Oh, God. Like, like, I would imagine, like, yeah. So, but the smell actually. I, I'd rather smell, her give me yeah. some of that tequila and drink this right now. <laughs> that was good. That was yeah, really so good. We, we don't have a bell for this, but. You know, so so here we go. Of course, you know, shout out to the Lazy Lizard in Ocean City, Maryland, which, oh. you know, is one of our favorite joints whenever we go up there. Mm. <coughs> it's not too terrible. Yeah, it's not as bad as I thought. But I'm not a but wine connoisseur. Yeah. Mm. So what we're going to do is we're going to get into a game segment oh. called Oh, the Humanity. So that's not good. Uh, <laughs> man, Jesus Christ. We're going to start off with our game um, uh, Incoherent. So what I'm going to do is I have a series of cards that I'm going to pull up on the screen and you're going to try to sound these out the best you can and mm-hmm. try to figure out what the cards say. And there's also okay. two things on the back. So let me screen share these. And uh, this is the first card. So what do you think this card right here says? It Like try to sound that out and try to see if you can figure out what that says. Yeah. Um Dome Hutch and Fermation. Dome Hutch. Hutch and Fermation. What the fuck? Okay, hold on. Yeah. Kind of listen to yourself as you're saying it. One of the hints is but why? <laughs> Dome Hutch and Fermation. I'm trying to like slur it too. Dome Hutch and Fermation. So wait, something information? Yes, information is the last part. So the other hand is wish information. talking a good 10 seconds sooner. What? When when you wish somebody had stopped talking a good 10 seconds sooner. Something about like too much information. Yes, it is too much information. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it is too much information. So for everybody watching at home, that is exactly what it is. Too much information. So this is fun. I like this. <laughs> now we're gonna get in to the second one which let me go ahead and get it pulled up and I will screen share this for you. And uh, we will see if you can figure out what the card says, which is right here. And what do you think that beautiful card right there says? Well, it says trunk egg stink, but. (laughs) (laughs) What is it supposed to say? (laughs) Trunk egg stink. Trunk egg stink. Extinct? No. Yeah. One, one of the hints is I decay where I am. Wait, what's the hint? I decay where I am. I don't even understand that. <laughs> <laughs> and then the other one says the reason why you're waking up next to your ex. So kind of put those together. Oh. 
possibly engaged. do that where that would be one hint, but the other hint would be you waking up next to your ex. Truncate think. <laughs> I'm trying to think. Okay. Something think? Is it something think? No. Do you give up? Mm, one more time. Okay. okay. One time. All right. Do you want the hints again? Yeah. What was the first one? The first hint was IDK where I am. Oh, IDK where I am. Yeah. I don't know where. Oh. Okay. But it's not IDK. It's IDK WJ. E N R E I M. And then okay, I give up. Yeah. Okay. It is drunk texting. So if you were to text, oh. I don't know where I am, it would probably pop up like that. So, oh, it is okay. Oh, yeah. I was going to tell you, it's like you had a phone and you were drunk and someone yeah. just gave you a phone and you were texting. <laughs> but that would have been Bad news bears. <laughs> and then, of course, there is a third. So the third. And final card is getting ready to make its debut once it decides it wants to load. And then I will screen share this beast and we will see if you can figure out what this card says. Okay. All right. So. Mean. Okay. I'm going to slur it again. Mean hat man. Man. Okay. <laughs> Pretty much one of the hints is a quick burst. A quick burst. Yeah. I'll give you another hint. If I was in porn, this would be likely me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> and then it says three, two, one, done. Ugh. <laughs> is the word nut in it? No. No? Okay. It has to do with someone nutting. Yes, I figured that was. Yeah, yeah, a quick burst of nutting. <laughs> <laughs> it is Minute Man. Oh, Minute Man? Oh, I wouldn't have gotten that. Minute no, Man. Yeah, I wouldn't have gotten that. That's why I said likely me if I was in porn. I don't think I've heard that phrase before, a oh, Minute Man. <laughs> well, then you haven't known me long enough. <laughs> I'm lucky. I must be very lucky to, to not hear that. <laughs> and then, uh, well, we move on to from that is we move on to what do you mean? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a photo. And then what I want you to do is I want you to create a meme off the top of your head for that photo. And let me know what you think your meme would be for that photo. So this is the photo right there. Of course, for those of you listening at home is an African-American gentleman looking very disturbed with his arm under his armpit and he is on the phone and it looks like he may be calling the police i don't know i feel like he's calling karen for some reason (laughs) (laughs) what do you think matt pretty much the same thing he's like why did you book me in this room with all these white people (laughs) yeah (laughs) this it's like, Mom, I'm the only black guy here. Please take me home. You know what? And looking at the photo, that is very true. You see all, you see all those white people behind him. Right. I, and I'm, I'm going to. Mom, please pick me up. Yeah. I, I'm a very fucked up individual. So when I saw this, the first thing I thought of was Vladimir, Vladimir Putin when he found out Ukraine wanted to become a part of NATO. <laughs> oh, no. He is sad picking up the phone. I'm going to make a call right now. <laughs> oh, no. And then we end O to Humanity with Cards Against Humanity. Have you ever played Cards Against Humanity? Mm-hmm. All right. So we do it differently on the show because mm-hmm. obviously you don't have any cards in front of you. Is this, so, is this two of them? Or is this yeah, I mean, I can go get cards. <laughs> uh, we, we, see, we do it a very fun way. What okay. we do is we're going to read off the blackface card. And then we're going to give you a number between one and five. You're going to choose that number to randomly answer that card. Mm-hmm. And if you're satisfied with an answer, we'll keep it. If not, you get a rebuttal for another one. So okay, so I get two tra- like two cards, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. So we'll do two rounds. So Matt, what do you think? You want to read off the first one? Uh, sure. I thought I didn't know if you had it on the computer or not. <laughs> no, no, I don't. Have God, it. Not, <laughs> they gotta make you do work and shit. <laughs> Okay, so science will never explain blank. All right, so we have what? One, two, three, four, five Five. cards for this. So we're going to have you select a random number between one and five. Five. 
five. All right. One, two, three, four, five. All right. So this is what you got for this card. Science will never explain scrotal frostbite. Are you satisfied with that? Or do you want to choose another? I card? would be very disappointed with that. <laughs> yeah, I want another one because I feel like All science right. does explain that. No, okay. So five is eliminated. What do mm. you want between three? One and three. <laughs> okay. Science will never explain blank. Expecting a burp and vomiting on the floor. Ooh. <laughs> I don't even get another option. Yeah. <laughs> and, and some of the, what do you think? You want to choose another number? Let's choose another number. Let's do it. Okay, I'll do one more, one more. Uh, okay. Two. 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 The... <laughs> Science will never explain smoking crack, for, for instance. Oh, yeah, I guess so. Yeah. <laughs> and then, of course, Those course, weren't very good ones. And then but, course, I don't know. These ones are pretty good. Yeah. Uh, chugging a lava lamp. <laughs> or sexy Siamese twins, that, but that but I don't know that you that can be explained through <laughs> yeah, science. Yeah, so. I'm not sure if that could be. And so this is the second round. So this is your second card right here. The five stages of grief: denial, anger, bargaining, blank, acceptance. What do you think? Number one through five. Do five again. Five again. All right. <laughs> so the five. Stages of grief, denial, anger, <laughs> bargaining, slapping a racist old lady, acceptance. Are you satisfied with that or would you like to choose another card? Kind of satisfied. But... <laughs> kind of satisfied. All right. So some of the options you could have had were sticking my hard rat dick in my girlfriend's wet rat pussy. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. One. Throwing a virgin into a volcano, <laughs> injecting, injecting speed into one arm and horse tranquilizer into the other. That seems like could be like part of like people's grief. I don't know. Oh yeah, like like that's that's the thing that you know you sit down and you're like, no, nah, I'm not going to do the fentanyl tonight. Bring that horse tranquilizer in here. <laughs> I'm going to inject this into one arm and then uh, you know people are like, I'm vegan. Yeah. Yeah. Like, <laughs> and then no the GMO. <laughs> and then of course, if you do that, you may end up doing this, wearing an octopus for a hat so uh, you know yeah so <laughs> thank you for taking part in our ode to humanity segment um and of mm -hmm. course uh with uh with adult film of course almost anything in the world you can sit there and google anything and put xxx behind it well you're gonna type mm -hmm. in scooby-doo xxx and there's mm -hmm. something that exists which gets us on a category of parody porn so mm -hmm. If you and of course there's a lot of them out there, but well, she if, has done one with um, what's that one? Uh, Captain Marvel, right? I think I seen. Yeah, I did a clueless one the other day. I've done a few. I did like um some for Instagram trends. Yeah, <laughs> those are weird. But if you if you were to do a parody porn, if you could think of two right off the top of your head that you would want to do right and direct, what would you want to do off the top of your head? If you old could, Greg. Anything out there? Oh, Greg! Oh, <laughs> yes! yes, yes! Oh, you know I dressed up like that, old Greg that, for it, Halloween. Is that on your here. Facebook? Is that oh, on your Facebook? I, dude, oh. it would be so oh. hard to find that. Oh, let me see if I can find that. That <laughs> Matt did old Greg. We, you were actually talking to me like old Greg earlier on the phone. That's yeah, fucking amazing. So here, let me that, see if I can. So ironic. Oh that my you god, said that. that fucking made my night. Let me see if I can. Find and a lot of people really don't oh know who god. old Greg yeah. is. They're like, oh, oh, Greg is that. Bush. and they're like, who's that? I'm like, oh my god, why is that oh old? My god, that dude. Uh, yeah, dude. I don't uh, know if you're gonna be able to find uh, that, dude. Man. I'm just. I'm gonna do a, a quick, just browse through real quick and see if I can pull, pull that up somewhere. Uh, because it was so good. You look just fucking like it, he. Not only did old Greg, but he also did a little sweet. Like I wish it was in the era of my Halloween parties. Oh, yeah. This is before I knew you, because um, like I have all those in an album on Facebook. Oh fuck me! Like God damn it, <laughs> Matt, you need to organize your photos. <laughs> we Dude, need, I told you, I you, just, you I need just, old Greg. Yeah. An old Greg folder. Yeah, you need an no, old, need Greg old Greg folder. folder. All right, hold on. We're just scrolling through here. I want to see. If I can Where find it, but that, that find all these photos that, that, will, be, that will be amazing <laughs> on your fucking Facebook. Look, they're right what here. The fuck? Wait, no, there's you as the rocker. 
Oh, no, it's not here. This was the year after that. Holy shit. Damn dude. it. You as like looking like weird owl, you have that fucking photo on here, but you don't have the one of you as old Greg, you bastard. So, oh, that's so great. Oh, man. I wish I could have showed you that. But yeah. no, he did a, he did old Greg one year. And then if you remember Little Sweet from the Dr. Pepper commercials, he did Little Sweet. It's the one uh, you, they showed Dr. Pepper and like little sweet. And it's just, little, <laughs> and he actually slid down my railing. Or when you get a chance, look up little sweet Dr. Pepper. If you don't okay. know it off the top of your head, you'll know it looking at it. Yeah, but um, let, now, Matt. But so yeah, you, the year I did uh, old Greg, I had the tutu, <laughs> I had everything. I yeah. even had a little flashlight that was like tied around my waist. <laughs> my mangina. Like, oh my God. I wish I could find that video. Uh, my friend posted a long time on YouTube. But I mean, it, come on, yeah. this was like shit. You did the voice uh, 10, pretty good 15 too. years ago. This you is a did, long time you ago. You still do the voice? Uh, which you did one? The voice good. The old Greg voice. No, I, no I, uh, I've, I've hit puberty since oh. then. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Man, it was like 12 years ago. <laughs> uh, but so, yeah, it's funny though, because like yeah. a lot of people don't know who old Greg is. And oh it's like, God. dude, really? Uh, How she do you said, not know? She said old Greg, and literally both of our souls left our body and came <laughs> yeah, we back really popped off for that into one. our body. But, oh, yeah. but how funny of like a porn parody would that be? Yeah, that was the that greatest be... porn parody ever. Yeah. So I'm interested now how yeah, that would yeah. work out. Uh, being a fan of old Greg, and I am a fan of yours, so how would you, that even I'm trying to think how you would even shoot yeah, that. Yeah, how, how how does that come? Like, uh, what would the storyline be? But they, now you two need to, like, kind of figure out, <laughs> figure this out now. Like, what would a storyline for old Greg, the Love porn games. parody? Uh, uh, it like looks like song. she's getting ready to start <laughs> oh, one right uh, now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're not interrupting your scenes on here. <laughs> you gotta get busy yeah yeah (laughs) old old greg the porn parody live (laughs) we're talking about old greg (laughs) Uh, so so how here's the thing how would you incorporate the quotes because he had all those fun quotes that he had Mm. so Mm. you know how would pouring pouring baileys all over a hot body i mean (laughs) that's pretty good yeah yeah. Definitely Bailey's. They'd have to be like somehow like drinking it out of the shoe. Out of the shoe. Like, yeah. Yeah. He's like pouring it all over your body from the shoe. Yeah, from a shoe, yeah. <laughs> I think old Greg's definitely gay. Oh uh, like, yeah. yeah. He's definitely something. I mean yeah. He yeah. he's probably like more of a sure. pansexual. Like, yeah, like, yeah, uh, well, he's yeah. got a downstairs mix up, so yeah, I mean it's yeah, like yeah kind of transgender i mean really <laughs> i mean you were pretty gay when you did it so i mean that, that... <laughs> i i don't know dude i thought i did a pretty good job but fuck you <laughs> all right oh, yeah because so... i had a wig on and i put like uh seaweed in my hair and shit oh yeah yeah dude i had it i had <sighs> i'm gonna have to look up that fucking photo yeah we, we have to i went surfing today and put, and put seaweed on my head <laughs> what we'll do if we find a photo i'll send it to you on twitter and okay uh, that way you can see it because i know it exists somewhere it i saw it not somewhere. too long ago you know who might it have is it somewhere mike okay might i'll, I'll shoot that. mike a message and see if he has that but yeah that's great and, and of course uh you know what what mm-hmm. Haley, what, what all do you have coming up you know what what all's going on you know you have any projects coming up or or anything like that yeah this year's been already like really great for me and i just did these two scenes they were like all lesbian scenes and they were like really hardcore and they're a type of scene that i've always wanted to do so that was really exciting um i had let's see i had a couple deeper scenes this year they already came out um i have a couple other scenes that i'm not supposed to talk about yet (laughs) yes (laughs) <laughs> oh, I did a DP scene that I'm like super, super excited about um, for Blessa. Do you know Blessa? Sounds familiar. Sounds familiar. It's a very like sex positive company. It's um, the director is like this female. They do a lot of stuff for like vibrators and like uh, okay, you know, like, female based sex toys. They do um, erotic writing. Mm-hmm. So I, I think it's just like a really cool company. That is cool. Yeah, so I'm really excited for that because that was like a DP too. That was that was fun. <laughs> and, and, and that's the thing. Like when we asked you, like, uh, what do you what do you think? You know, it, and I can imagine you guys have a lot of fun on set. Like, mm-hmm. what, what do you think? Like, do you what kind of in the wrestling world we have something called the rib? 
where we like to rib each other. Like, you know, we'll sit there and like, I don't know. That wrap. sounds like a porn <laughs> position right there. <laughs> well, the like, the wrap rib. somebody's <laughs> the gear <Mickey> bag <laughs> and then throw it on like the roof of the, the venue. And then when they come back from wrestling, their clothes are shrink wrapped and thrown on the top of the venue. Is there any kind of like pranks, like any kind of, you know, stuff you guys do? On like no, the no, that would be no, not really. <laughs> They're very professional, right? <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> you put hot sauce on their butt plug. I mean, Jesus. I know. I was just thinking that because, like, sometimes people like douche, you know, what, like a douche is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Right. like maybe putting something in there, but that would be mean. Oh, yeah, be really fun. mean. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, now that you bring that, oh man, I couldn't. There's imagine. really, yeah, I don't think there's really like pranks that people do on set because it's like, I don't know. You don't want to like piss people off. You need to hire Dylan I mean, T. These Pickle. people are like, can really punish you. You know, yeah. you know? Uh, I mean, uh, well, I mean, sh- they can just hire Dylan T. Pickle, like once they get the costume back and he can just kind of stand there. Like, imagine that. Like, you're getting ready to shoot a hot scene and then you have Dylan T. Pickle standing behind the camera. Yeah, he's just getting ready. Like, yeah, yeah. He just walks in smelling like French fries, Dylan. T- <laughs> yes. <laughs> we have a birthday party today. That's why there's all this alcohol. <laughs> I feel like that that bell is kind of like the Undertaker's theme song. Like, you know how when the Undertaker comes out, you hear the gong? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> now, here's the thing. How, how many bell dings do you think you can make it through before you can no longer hit that bell <laughs> uh, a lot <laughs> yeah, a lot. Nice, nice. no i can like i'll drink my male friends it's kind of a little worrisome but <laughs> nice you're a fucking trooper that's awesome like yeah i've drank a lot of tequila and especially on this show like we've drank dude we've drank some weird shit yeah. like i think by far gin is my least favorite thing to drink. i don't like gin either yeah i don't like gin or vodka uh yeah we i could i've drank so many different yeah. things but that gin that after she oh, gin, that oh she yeah we had, we had a gin terrible. and it was called polo club gin mm-hmm. but the bottle looked just like polo cologne like it had the oh. same fucking logo on it dude the dude on the horse yeah, like, yeah the horse jockey yeah, yeah. And, and we're sitting there we're looking it's we're one like one of those things yeah. i literally just got like thinking about just got like oh yeah yeah oh <laughs> we're like is there really just cologne in this bottle like i mean it smell it, it fucking tastes the way aftershave smells like that's oh that's the only yeah. way i can fucking describe it it was awful 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 and uh Haley, what we're going to do we're going to let you get ready to get out of here soon of course thank you for joining us on the happy hour podcast um is there uh is there where can everybody find you of course anybody listening at home or watching live on facebook live where can they uh where can they find you here's the little sweet <laughs> uh well i have my only fans where i post um all of my like at home sex videos and stuff uh which is miss Haley reed x that is the tag and then there's my twitter which is Haley reed x and my Instagram, which is the Haley Reed. Cool. Yeah. What and what? other than that, you can find me, you know, on the streets. <laughs> on the streets. <laughs> Damn. <on> the streets. <laughs> I'm just getting it wherever she can. <laughs> of, have you ever seen Billy on the street? It's like Haley on the streets. <laughs> there you go. Start a new yeah. fucking parody. Haley on the street. Mm-hmm. No, what I'm always interested with, because you said OnlyFans. Now, it, it, you're having home at sex at home basically um i i'm just curious so, so this is like it's fun it, what's the difference you know what i mean like you're having sex do you ever get tired of having sex well really do you ever get tired of having sex i don't know <laughs> i guess that's not really no no <laughs> I, I mean me neither so yeah <laughs> But yeah, our wives on the other hand. Oh yeah. Now, <laughs> so it's like when I, when I shoot scenes for companies, obviously it's for a company and they set right. everything up. Like they pre- they almost always pick the person I'm working with. They pick the performer, they pick the script, they pick pretty much what we're wearing. Like it's very scripted. They're deciding everything. And then my only fans is I can shoot stuff that I get to pick. So I get to pick the people I work with, I get to pick everything. So more it's, yeah. that. that's cool yeah i think it's more like aligned with my own sexuality <laughs> versus like uh shooting porn is fun but 
so it is sometimes can be a little bit more of acting because they're like oh like we want you to kind of do this fetish or this script then I'm not it's not that I'm not into it but it wouldn't necessarily be my go-to in my personal life Mm -hmm. right yeah and and of course too we we saw that and of course looks like you're sitting in a gamer chair of course you're on my chair it is not my chair. That is not your chair. Are you a gamer also? No. Yeah. I did an interview the other day and the girl asked me, it was like a, a live interview, and she's like, So you're a gamer. Yeah. Yeah. And I was like, oh. Yeah. yeah like, it's my thumb hurt seen. after yeah. like 30 minutes of playing video games. I don't because yeah, I I, 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 looked, I, looked, I looked like some stuff up for it and I didn't really see a lot on it because there are a lot of doll film stars who are also gamers. And like, you know, I looked it up and I wanted to ask and I saw the gaming chair. I was like, well, maybe she, you know, it looks like a gaming chair. Maybe she is. No, I used to. I used to like play a little bit of like Dark Souls and um, I tried to play League of Legends for a little bit, but I just don't have the attention span to like yeah, get yeah. really good at these video games. You know, you know what you Cop should try? The brain. It, it does yeah. not. VR. Get an Oculus. I have an Oculus. Oh my yeah. God. So do I, I have it. like, I have like. I have like five gaming systems that I don't use. I just hope that people come over and like use them. <laughs> it's like here. When when the Oculus, have you ever played Bar Fight? No. It's oh so my fun. god. So fun. Pretty much you're standing in the middle of a bar and you can go wherever you can go outside and go up on the roof or whatever and, and you just, beat just start beating the shit out of people. That sounds fine. Yeah, you can throw like beer really bottles good. at their faces and shit. You can throw them off the buildings and shit. It's it's, it's a nice way to take aggression chaos. out. Yeah. I mean, I'm I'm not a violent person per se, but you know. Per se. I've never fought anyone before. So I, I kind of have this fantasy where I'd like to at least get in a fight one day. Oh. I don't know. Yeah. Just to like well, you see actually, what would happen. You're swinging your actual fists with that because he brought it over one night mm. and me and my wife almost punched each other in the face playing that fucking game like it's completely fucking insane yeah i've seen so, a lot of vr fails you yeah. should look that up on tiktok vr, yeah, fails. VR fails oh my so. god people run into shit <laughs> and uh what we're gonna do Haley, we're gonna go ahead and uh let you get out of here we're gonna wrap up our facebook live and uh of course uh we we talked about a little bit earlier we're gonna be back for some of our vintage content on the 28th and on march 1st um uh, make sure you tune on facebook live for that and of course uh friday we will be back with stacy toy stacy toy she is the executive producer for cedric the entertainer's fan room live and she also did a lot of public relations for snoop dogg so that should be fun just talking to her about mm -hmm. how much weed she has in fact seen Snoop Dogg consume <laughs> while she was working with him. So, you know, and of course the Super Bowl, everybody making a big deal. Oh, Snoop Dogg was smoking before him. What the fuck else would he be doing? He's right. fucking Snoop Dogg. Like no, he like smokes before everything. <laughs> yeah, you know, I would be shocked if they were like surprisingly I mean, there's a Snoop Dogg did not have a joint in his hand. There's a few times I've walked on this podcast smelling yeah. like Snoop Dogg. So I mean <laughs> <laughs> so uh of course make sure uh, everybody tune in uh next week to uh all that stuff and of course thank you to everybody that tunes in live every week and uh thank you to everybody who listens to us live on every major podcast platform and uh we will see you guys next week